Hello YouTube, welcome to this episode. Today's video, we're away here look at this abandoned World War II airfield behind me. So let's get into it. So, basically this bit of waste ground here next to the main road used to be used as an airfield in the Second World War. And there's still some remains of it here today. A lot of the buildings are gone. Here's a cement base where the one must have been. And over that direction behind me there is where the old runway used to be. But there must have been buildings all over this site. I think this area now is all owned by the farmer, so I'll not go into any of the buildings or that, I'll just take a walk down here on this level bit of ground. So it looks like at one time there may have been a tank on the roof of this building here. Maybe this is the base of a mast here too. I'm not sure if that would be a fuel tank or a water tank. I think that there may have been a mast there. Actually, there's another base thing there. But then also a lot of that debris could have been moved from anywhere on the site. If the farmer was needing the ground for crops and that, he's maybe moved cement bases and metal bits. Quite a cool old building. It's been a wee shed for something as well. There's probably nothing in it. Doesn't look like anyone accesses it very regularly. Yeah, so I don't know what that's been. There's a vast site here. There's a big pile of stones over here. been a building of some sort as well. That big cement yard there maybe one time had a hanger on it. We'll just take a walk through the end, end of this site here and out the main gate. I'm not sure if this one has been a farm originally or if it's just been made to look like a farm. It was definitely all part of the airbase. 
that was here in the water. So I see a sign there, beware of the model aircraft, so the site must still get used for people flying the model aircraft. This here has maybe been a little office building at one time. said this shed here is definitely more time. sure if that's been a gatehouse for the war or if that's a more like an add on. That road down there takes you right down to the, the old runway which still remains within the field. Surprising the farmers not hauled it up. Sometimes also the the sites that the miller had used in the war, they had some underground sections like, but I don't think this place has got any. There is air raid shelters here, but they're further up the road. And I think they're used as pigsties now. So the winter's definitely the best time for exploring these places. Everything's not overgrown with the long grass and the bushes. So yeah, that little building there has some sort of little electrical switchboard in it. This one here must have been tanks. I think there's been two tanks. There's been a little one at this end. And then there's been a big one up in the B there. But it could be diesel because I don't think water would have a pipe like that coming out of it. And the pipe was in that hole there. Yeah. So it could actually be something was in the shed to do with heating. Something fed by that tank on the roof there was in that shed. I'll then really look in, see if I can figure it out.
So this was the generator shed. That's what this was. I finally figured it out. The generator must have been mounted around this other side. I'm gonna have to go and have a wee look. There's been something here as well. Some sort of big mast has been here. So that generator, I'm just adding it all together here. That was going to be the outro, but I just thought of more. There's been a big mast here. There's been a generator here. This here has been where they've been doing all the radar related stuff. Crazy amount of scrap. It's maybe just a random farm scrap, or it could be all the scrap from this patrol military area here. Yeah, so, so there's been a, a mast here with a generator. That's cool. I think all that is still just sitting there. The history. People drive past it every day and don't ask a question what it is. I think there may have even been another building there where that pile is. And maybe another one where this small pile is at the end here. Just along here. So yeah, like I say, me getting out of here now. There's been buildings right along here. Just it would have been epic to see but in its heyday so like I say it would have been cool. But I would have probably been shot for standing here in the war. Alright YouTube, we've come about a mile along the road here from where I was a minute ago at those military buildings and here we can see the mains of what would be a bit of the runway I think here. I think possibly this would have been the area where planes was parked. There may well have been mechanics working on planes and stuff here at this point. And over here, this would have been the air raid shelter for those mechanics or whoever was around this location. There would have probably been quite a few of these air raid shelters around this whole airfield. But this one remains here in this waste ground at the edge of the field. So let's have a look at it. That would have been the blast wall there to stop explosive forces going in the door here in the bunker. That's where the hinges would have been for the big door. And there would have been a smaller wooden door here. Up, been out down. Yeah, that's been a run to it one time to protect themselves from the 
German bombers coming in. And I think Earth would have been right over the top of this. To the height of that metal pipe up there. That would have been at the edge of the ground. There's more bunkers like this at Mons Road at that airfield. That's how they are. In this end of the bunker. I have some shotgun shells from something. There would have been three pipes here for air at the top. Only one remains now. But that's cool. It's all history. History of Britain protecting itself in the war there. So it's cool to see all that history and document it. Every year, buildings like that decay, get worse and worse, until eventually we can't tell what they are. So, thanks for watching. If you've subscribed, thanks very much. If you haven't subscribed, get a wee click. And we'll see you in the next one.